Hello, I'm Zardis. Sit back, grab a coffee, and relapse as we build in Anno 1800. We are going to be doing a beginner's guide style let's play here. And what I want to do is take things slow and show you all of the things that I have learned in terms of like how to start and how to play the game and go from there. So what we're going to do, we've got an island here. We are playing sandbox mode. A lot of the things that I will show you will apply in um, in campaign mode too and so just to make sure that you follow kind of the guidelines of what i'm doing so first i'm starting by building a road out here you can do that by doing dirt road then we want to do a marketplace and you want the marketplace to be kind of inland a bit because you can build homes they have to be within a certain radius of the marketplace so if you put it here you're losing half of your radius with the marketplace so put it more centralized on your island and have a road go straight to the dock just for i i think that makes it makes sense so we're going to do that and then i'm going to put a dirt road all the way around the marketplace that way it is more accessible as well and i'll just go ahead and bring a road down here to the dock as well so now we've got plenty of logistics there and what we need to do right away is we need to get some people so we're going to come in here and we'll get some roads coming out and another road here, and I'm just going to start building a grid system with farmers' houses in here. So we're gonna go ahead and do this, and we'll do probably about sips to a grid. Then we'll get another sips here, and as you're adding, what how this works is that the people will move in and you'll get to about eight and then you have to start providing stuff here and it will unlock or provide more things so like we need 50 farmers before we start to have them need fish in order to grow bigger so that is one thing to do the first thing we're going to need to do though is to get timber going and right now we have workers available so we'll go ahead and get a lumberjack hut out and we've got forest over here so we're gonna put one here and one here and then we'll connect with a sawmill in the middle and logistically speaking what you want to do we'll go ahead and bring this all the way out to whatever this is clay deposit we're going to bring a road here then oh uh, anyway logistically speaking what you want to do is you want to have it so that the logs can be delivered to the sawmill. And you can see the road becomes green and that shows how far from the sawmill things will automatically get distributed. So we're going to put this here and then we can come back in and we can get a road out this way. And then we can go to the lumberjack and you can see it will go green. And we wanna make sure that that connects to the sawmill. So we can get one here and we can get another one over here and they're both close enough that they are going straight to that sawmill. Then we're going to come in and check here and see the lumberjack is producing every 15 seconds and the sawmill needs 15 seconds to produce uh, planks or timber. So that is good. We should be getting plenty of production out of that. And then we just need a warehouse for the sawmill to deliver to and this we just need to make sure is close enough to that but we can't really see the green line so we're going to come back then and click on this and we can see that it can come all the way over to here so i'm going to go ahead and actually i think i'll put the warehouse probably closer out here i mean we could get other ones get one closer in here but i think we're going to get more production out here like the clay are particular although I guess you know what? we're gonna put this here and the reason for that is the clay will have to be delivered to a brick house which we can put in here or brick factory or, or whatever it's called but you can see now they are delivering their timber to the warehouse and the warehouse automatically connects to everything else this will show all of the goods in the entire island so now we are at a point where we have 50 farmers so we should have unlocked fish we have so we can come down here now and click on fish and we want to just we'll go ahead and put that right next to our harbor for now put that right there and then we're going to bring 
a road straight down to there. So now that will be immediately providing fish, but you see we don't have a warehouse close enough to them. So we are going to need another warehouse. We'll go ahead and put one over here. Let's see how far that can go. That can go to about here. So we'll get a warehouse in there. So now that should get delivered right to the warehouse and we should get stuff uh, going. Now, money-wise, you'll see that we are losing money right now. What we want to do is we want to try to upgrade from farmers as soon as we can. And to upgrade, we have to get 10 farmers in here. And you can see that by providing uh, fish, we are already increasing by two how many we have in, uh, like how many farmers. So we should be able to get two more farmers in there. And then once we get enough to get the work clothes unlocked, we can do the things that will get more of that as well. So for now, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and bring this down this way. And we'll get another grid going here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now I accidentally put that there. So we're going to come down to demolish and go ahead and take that back out and then we can get some more houses in here and you can see these are grayed out because we don't actually have the timbers so it marked it as a blueprint and it we can see where we're planning to put that but for now we will let that go and in the meantime we're going to take our ship and start exploring the map because we want to find our competitors and we want to find some empty islands because we have enough stuff right now that we can settle on a second island immediately, or at least get a, uh, a port. So now we've discovered an island. It's going to show it to us now. We'll see how big it is. And we want to pay attention here to fertility. So our main island, we can see, has potato, grain, hops, and fur. And then we have clay, iron, copper, limestone and oil this island has grain hops red pepper and fur now we had hops and fur there so the only thing different that we're getting here is red pepper and then we've got coal here which i don't think we have on this one so that will be good we definitely need to get coal at some point but not for a while so that island may not be the best choice for us. We're going to continue to explore around, actually we'll go up this way, around our main island because we want to have our islands pretty close. Now we unlocked another one over here, which has grapes. That's the only other thing on here. So that one isn't the best either. I want to get at least two different items of fertility on the island that we get. Now we do have a little bit more timber unlocked or uh, produced, so we're going to go ahead and get some more of these. And we're going to pay attention to how much fish we have. And what I want to do right away is I want to come in here and fish because it is a basic need. I want to make sure that we are buying. If we get under, say, 10. So hopefully we won't ever have to buy fish because we can produce that ourselves, but we won't run out because if it gets low enough, our competitors will come over and sell us some fish. And that is what we want to do. So one thing you can do is you can lower down this way and then you can kind of see where you want to go. So we've got another island here. And this one has red pepper. And again, that's the only other thing that we don't have we have iron on the main island right yes we have two iron there so that should be okay let's go ahead and have him this is probably a smaller island we're gonna wait on that one because that one is kind of back in the corner and instead i'm going to send him over here let's see there yeah there's an island right over here let's go check that one out so the ship will head that way. Let's go back to our main island and check on things. We have more timbers, so we can come in here and get a couple more of these built up. But what we're trying to do is we are trying to get up to 
100. Oh, we've already unlocked that. Beautiful. Okay, so now we can do some more building. We need schnapps, which is something that they need for happiness. It's a luxury need. And we need wool, uh, work clothes. Clothes are a basic item, so we're going to go right away and do that. And we need sheep farms, which we can get... I think we'll put those... We don't want to disturb the forest. I think we'll put them over this way. But we'll keep them close enough to this warehouse. So what we need to do is we'll want to get the knitters somewhere in the middle. So let's go ahead and bring this road out this way. This one too, and that'll be a good spot for housing. But we can come down here and get another grid. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's bring this out like that. And Unfortunately, the style of this game is a lot of grids because that is just the way that you can build roads. And so that's just one thing to keep in mind. But we can come in here and if we, okay, yes, we can do ornaments. I know. Thank you very much. Oh, we met a competitor. So that one island that we were checking is a competitor's island. We're going to put the knitters thing here because it should be close enough to that warehouse and then we can get a lot of sheep farms out here. So we'll go ahead and get one here. And once you've built the sheep farm, you need to add some sheep folds. So we'll do that. We can get three. Now the sheep farm is producing every 30 seconds, which matches what the knitters are doing. So we can get by with just one sheep farm right now. And we want to just stick with that because we want to make sure that we have enough workers to fulfill that, you always want to have this be positive. Okay, now over here, we can see this island is off to a good start for them. We'll go ahead and check over here and just continue going around looking at our options for where we could put our second island. We currently have enough workers. I think I'll just go ahead and add a second sheep farm in here because then we will have plenty of production going. And I'll go ahead and put that one here. And then we'll have plenty of wool available for the uh, knitters. So that'll be good. And then next we'll focus on schnapps. So schnapps are going to need a potato farm and then a distillery. So potato farms, again, we want to keep them close enough to our warehouse. And for now, I think we'll go and put them over in here as well. So we want to have a road. Let's continue with this grid because eventually we're going to want to have the grid and have houses out in here, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. So bring this down here. That is beautiful there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, and look at that. We had like the perfect placement of that warehouse. And then we'll come in one. Uh, we want to go nine this way. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Another perfect placement there. So that'll work there. And then we can go in here and we're going to get a potato farm here. We'll go ahead and just put it right in the middle of that space because we're going to come in here and do a potato field in as much of that as we can which will be that much. You can see down here we have module limit of 72. So we've got a potato farm now. We're gonna check our workers. We have 12 right now, 14. It's going up, but our schnapps distillery needs 50 workers. So we're gonna wait a little bit. We're gonna come in here and check on this. We need 50 farmers. And right now, it looks like nine is the maximum that we can get in a house. So we can get a little bit more here, but I think we're going to need to build more houses. So we'll go ahead and get these built. As many as we can, which I think we can get the whole block done. Okay, now let's check on our ship. If you double click, you can go right to it and you can see that there is no more islands right there, but we can come down here and you can see this way that we've got an island here. We're going to go right over here. And it looks like 
that is actually all of a competitor's island. Okay, so we have explored all of the islands around here. So now we're going to decide which one of these we want. I'm going to start bringing him over here because I think here we've got red pepper is the additional grain. Both of them are red pepper. This one has potatoes as well, though. This one has grain. Grain can go into more things. I think what we'll do is we'll do this one because it also has more of the minerals so looking at this island where can we settle we can have our harbor here we could have it over here which actually this is probably the better spot for our harbor because it can go right across but on the other hand if we put it here we might be able to get a larger harbor I think we'll start with it over here, though, because then it's closer to the other stuff. So we're going to come right over here and bring the ship in here, and we're going to claim that island right away. Just so that we can start to expand. Okay, and our boat is over here now, so we're going to go ahead and you can see that when you get close and you have, or I guess it, it, you don't even have to have the things, but if you have 10... 10 yeah you need 10 lumber and 8 steel so we start with 10 steel so we can get one trading post and that is what we're going to start with I'm going to put it right in the center so I'm going to try to move over here and get that to transition over a tiny bit there we go that's where I want it we're going to build it and now we have claimed this island so that is really good and what we want to do we have 40 timber here already because our ship emptied it all out. We want to take those steel beams back. So we're going to click on transfer menu and then come down here and click steel to transfer that back. And we're going to move that over to our main island because we're more likely to get things building on that main island. But we don't have the balance yet to feel comfortable adding because to like build a housing and stuff like that we would have to have another market which would cost another 20 and we would need to have warehouses and other things that will cost production or cost money in order to do so we're going to come in here and you can go into the transfer menu or you can come down here and just hit control click to have it transfer back to this island so we're going to leave our ship here I don't want him to explore too much because I don't want to run into pirates and then potentially lose that ship. But in the meantime, you can see that we now have 90 farmers. So we can come back in here and we can get our distillery built. And I want that to be probably, I mean, uh, we'll keep it here in this middle part because this part we can't quite fit as many homes in. So I'm going to put it here. We'll leave it there so we have a little bit more space there and it's close enough to the potatoes and close enough to the warehouse so that will work and let's check potatoes are producing at 30 seconds and the schnapps are producing at 30 seconds as well so we'll keep that where it is let's check on our knitters they have no wool available but they are producing the uh, work clothes this one has full output storage so they should be delivering soon and I think having more warehouses, you get more of the workers going around, I'm guessing. I, I don't know that for sure. But now if we come over here, we have work clothes fulfilled and we're about to have schnapps fulfilled. What we need yet is a pub. And actually we're at 10 farmers. So what we can do is we can go ahead and upgrade this building. And upgrading is going to cost another four lumber, but that turned them into workers instead of farmers. And workers give you more cash. So that is good. And we're going to need to provide them with more things eventually. But for now, we can just get a couple of these and make sure that we are keeping a good balance there. We'll just get two of them. 
and then we want to come in and we can go ahead if we do if you go over to happiness and you see the pub if you provide the pub you'll get one coin per uh, house the same thing here so actually the the workers produce three coins if they have a pub so if we build a pub right now we can get let's see this is sips 12 18 22 25 28 gold which is better than the maintenance cost so we'll go ahead and put our pub in and we'll put it here and then we have a little bit of space here that nothing is going to be able to grow or be put there so we'll just go ahead and put a little bit of uh, let's see we could do a shrubbery let's put a well here see how much these are costing actually yeah we'll go ahead and put a well there and then we will get to some grass here and that just will improve the look of the island just barely if you go up here you can see in culture or maybe it's somewhere else but I guess they're not improving it enough to actually contribute but eventually, if you do more ornaments, then you get bonuses up in there, which that helps you attract more tourists later on, or just improve to higher levels and stuff like that. So then we have a pub now, so we should start to see, yeah, these are generating more. They're happy. Schnapps is improving. So the workers, or the, the farmers, are all happy. Let's go ahead and get a fire station built. And I think we'll put that down here. That is going to cost 25 gold to maintain. But you can see that we are doing fairly well now, and we have a good balance here. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade a couple more of these farmers to workers which will improve our income even more and then we can start to come down here to workers and we can start to see what we can do we can do brits which for brits we're going to need a clay pit which takes 50 workers and a brick factory which takes 25 so in order to get brits we're going to have to provide or have 75 workers and brits are not something they need so we want to focus on basic needs first and the basic need that they need is uh, sausage and for that we need pig farms which will need 30 workers and 50 or 30 farmers and 50 workers so we'll go ahead and work on that we can get a pig farm out here that is going to take a little bit more space so I'm going to put it on this side so we will put it back over here. Now we have a shortage of workers. So I'm going to go back in to the workers tab and we're going to add more farmer residences in here. And now we're out of lumber, so we'll wait a little bit. So I've built those homes and there's a couple things you can do here. We can wait. We're at two right now and we have fulfilled the needs. So that's gonna make its way all the way up to 10. Or we could come back and we could downgrade some of our workers because we have a surplus of workers. I'm just going to wait because we're almost at that equilibrium. There we are. But I also, I want to check on our supply of fish. And we are increasing in fish. So I think we're fine with regard to fish right now. But that is one thing I want to keep an eye on. The supply is improving so as long as it's improving or stable then we won't need to add more fishing but now we're at a point where we can come back over here and we're missing the pig thighs so we'll come in here and get the pig thighs built we want to get five of them i'm going to rotate and rotating i'm doing with the comma and period uh buttons on my keyboard we can just get our five right there so that is now producing pigs and we can come back over to workers and we can get the slaughterhouse. Now we do need 10 more workers. So I'm gonna wait on that just a little bit until we have a surplus of 10 farmers and then I can upgrade another house. 
Okay, we're at that point. I can come in and I can upgrade a house. So that one's not ready, but this one is over here. So we'll go ahead and upgrade that. So now we have 50 workers, which is what we need for our slaughterhouse. We'll go ahead and put the slaughterhouse over in here, I believe. We just want to make sure that we're close enough to those pigs. We are, so we can build that. We actually don't have... We need bricks for that. Look at that. So now we're going to have to do the bricks after all. So bricks, we need 50 workers. We have the 50. We can come in here and get the clay pit started. And that is going to immediately start to produce clay. And it's close enough to the warehouse. So don't have to have the brick factory yet. They will start to do that. We are going to need to get to 25 more workers. So I'm going to be upgrading farmers' houses to workers until we have 25 workers available. Okay, so now we are at 30 workers. So we're going to go ahead and get our... Uh, brick factory and unfortunately we do need eight timber which we don't have yet so what I'm gonna do instead is come back into our road so I came over here to dirt road we're going to extend the grid that'll be our focus for a moment as we get the timber set one two three four five six seven eight nine so bring that out like that and this is where our grid gets broken is fine we can do that and then we're going to go ahead and set this up oh and now we have another thing to talk about really quick the newspaper if we come in here you can see this is the draft of the newspaper and you can see the impact it will have so first of all there is happiness boost there is a riot chance decrease because of the happiness and another boost because we have uh, started to expand as well so what we want to do is we want to go ahead and hit publish because publishing early will give us an additional bonus for showing that we have a full press or like good press because we haven't made any changes we could come in and edit and force them to change their thing based on our influence but we'll go ahead and just publish that already and then we can come back and get back to building our brick factory put that there and again it's not going to build yet because we don't have the timber but as soon as we have the timber we can go ahead and do that so we have a fire right now and i clicked on the fire station and i hit mobilize which made them go a little bit faster to get to the fire they were already starting to go but they weren't going as fast as they could and when you have a fire you lose the workers for the buildings that are under fire so that is why we are currently at negative five farmers because this house is currently on fire this one has recovered they are not happy because they had a fire but that's okay that will get fixed soon they're also missing some fish but again i think that's because they had a fire so there is a little bit of an impact there we'll come over here and double check fish stable we don't have to worry about that so now we have the brick factory built and they just need to get the clay over which they have done now so they will start to produce their uh their bricks and then once we have i believe five of them then we can come in and we can build our slaughterhouse but now we don't have the workers so we need to focus on getting more worker workforce which we are going to need to build more houses because we don't have the farmer workforce in order to upgrade that so we're going to come over and we'll go ahead and get some more homes over in here oh and you can see i made a mistake i put that in the wrong spot so we'll just come down here to relocate click that and move it now i am playing on a game setting that i can relocate at will i don't have any cost for doing that because i find that it's really easy to accidentally click in the wrong spot and so I'm just playing that way. And because I like to play and just focus on building, 
while having the competitors. So that's why I am on the settings that I'm at. But this should get us to 60 more farmers, which should be enough that we'll be able to upgrade some homes into workers. So we'll come back over here. We have enough that we can come over and upgrade once we have the lumber, of course. Okay, so now we have enough workers that we can come down here and we just need to get four uh, timber and then we can get our slaughterhouse going. And that'll be significant because then we will get to a point where our basic needs are fulfilled a bit more, which will add three workers per house. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen times three is thirty-nine more workers, which will get us to a bit higher, and we need to get to that, that should get us enough that we will start to unlock a whole bunch more stuff like bread. We'll unlock the church and unlock... Nope, that's it. Church and bread. So then we'll be about ready to start adding more things. Okay, we've got the timber now. We're going to go ahead and build our slaughterhouse, which will take up more workers. And once the pigs are delivered, it will start to produce some sausage. And that'll be really good. A competitor has settled another island. You can see that it is um, Beryl Omara who has done it. And it's interesting that she has expanded so quickly because you notice she has fewer resources than uh, Princess King. So we're going to go over and I think what I want to do is come in here and one thing that I like about this game is if you look at your coins right now we're not gaining any interest on our uh, income or the the amount of money that we have in the bank so we have money just sitting there not doing anything for us so what i want to do is i want to come in here and i can go to a competitor's island and right now i can buy a share of her island for only thirty-nine thousand coins whereas if you go over here barrel her island is worth 50,000 so we could be gaining money as they grow now this one we could get for only 26,000 so I'm a little bit tempted actually to buy this because it's so cheap we could get two shares of it but you we can buy one it's going to take 10 influence and then we have to wait 10 minutes before we can buy another and of course She's not happy that we're buying some of her island, but that is one thing we're doing. And of course, it might not get developed all that much just yet. But in the meantime, if we can get all of it, then we will control it. So if it goes down in value, that's fine with me because we'll have a little bit more uh, land. So now what we'll see is on here, income if we had if that island had stuff it would probably show us here how much we're earning from that island but of course it doesn't have anything yet but in the meantime we're here we are having it's the farmer we want to click on this one we are having our sausage delivered and so we are getting more workers moving in we're in a good spot we're gonna leave it here thanks for watching be sure to click on the video on the screen now it will be the next episode in this beginner's guide series if it is available but anyway thanks for watching and i will catch you next time take care